Okay, we seem to have Yardbird again. Let's see what he's got against the reverse French defense. This time he's changing his structure. That's the first thing he does, he changes his structure. I'm not necessarily casting Kingside. It's G4 in. So this is like reverse French with G4, G5. Okay. If I castle Queenside. Do this. Maybe knight a5 is interesting. Knight a5. So like a4 after. We'll exchange off, in fact, exchanging off the light square bishops would be, um, is that good or bad? Well, it's mm, my bad bishop in a way. I keep a lock on key on the dark squares with this move. <clears throat> I'm playing knight a5, king b1, that sort of thing. For rook c1. Or h5 and I don't know, h6 or g6? I mean, h6 is a form pawn. G6 is a kind of form pawn. I don't know. Bishop g4, knight a5 now. Does something about b7. Is it worth playing bishop g4? Let's get out of this fork scenario. I was going to use the F file and get him to close there. Maybe knight b2 and a4. Okay. I can play bishop takes e3, but the structure isn't so hot. So I think. I don't like his rook on the seven particularly, and he's eyeing the king side here. Hmm. Right, knight b2, maybe for knight d1. Or a4. a4. It's good my king's there, because otherwise knight a3 would have been check. This might need to be checked out at some point. a4, knight d1. Okay. If I take one g5 now, and then a4, knight, a7, hmm. is it worth taking on g5? We'll just turn on F2 and A4, Knight, A7. He's always got Queen, H2. I think that's his point. He's got Queen, H2 coming up. Um, 
Let me rookie one. Uh, okay, let's kick this guy back. Queen h2, rook e1. I can't play for b5. Uh, knight d1, queen h2, knight f2, queen g1, knight h3. Would have been. Okay. Knight d1 anyway, coming up. What about b5? Just trying to open up this diagonal for. Bishop g4. Oh. Bishop g4 is kind of on the cards. Okay. B5, is B5 possible? I'm holding E3 at the moment. B5 before he does something too destructive. I've just dropped the knight, haven't I? I've just dropped the knight on A5. I should have just taken on B7. What a moron. I had knight takes B7. <laughs> that pawn's handy here. Yeah. This pawn's dangerous, no? A5 for knight c5 after. Okay, can this knight go anywhere? Uh, okay, I. Uh, yeah, um, and Bishop G3 for B8. It looks pretty hopeless. I think it's pretty hopeless. Yeah, that wasn't a helpful piece sack on A5, to uh, say the least. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, this infiltration on the king side is classic. Way I think play the position. What he played is classic. It looks a bit like a recent um, Carona against Anand game where I think uh, yeah it looks it looks pretty dead actually and it does look dead. I mean independent of the piece set, I think it was in the worst position here. Okay, that is the way to apparently play, but he's coming in. Yeah, I, I thought he's coming. In, is he not? Is there a resource here? What's this? When it's at home? Yeah, that was my only chance. Wow, there's there's some stuff going here on the queen side. These pawns are pretty dangerous potentially. Okay, that's interesting to know about. So yeah, um, the reason he neglected was to win e3 based on the pin. Uh, I have to play knight takes b7 to stay in the game. Okay, that's it after, I believe. I don't think we can see any evaluation change. Okay. Alright. Oh well. Thanks so much.